Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Charlotte Clark here. I'm going to be showing you some bridal makeup. If you got a wedding coming, I'm going to show you how I did my makeup look today using drugstore products. Like what I'm doing today. I've been asked to do this like a while ago and I've been busy. But I'm going to do some bridal drugstore makeup recommendations. So... Getting set up here. Don't mind the messy floor. Are you freaking out about your wedding coming up? Come here. I got you. Sit down with me. I'm going to help you out. I'm going to show you how to do your makeup using drugstore products. So that way you don't have to overthink and it will be simple and easy. So stick around. So you're going to want to skin prep and I've already done that. So it's after your skin prep, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Jelly Pop. This is so affordable. I think it's like under 10 bucks. This is the very first step. You're going to put on primer and it holds your makeup so good all day. Now, when I got married, I did my own makeup. I was going to have a makeup artist do it, but I decided to have myself and I do it. And I wish I could remember all the products I used but that's besides the point. <laughs> I'm going to show you how I would do it today if I was getting married. Now, and I got a blemish here. That always happens on my wedding day. Oh, AMG. First, we're going to want to laminate our brows. And you guys, this is so good. This is from e.l.f. This is the brow lamination. It will laminate your brows and make them look so good now brows are not my favorite thing to do but when i use this i'm going to comb through okay we're going to comb through our brow and i'm going to let it sit for maybe a minute and dry and then stroke them back up so i'm just combing through and then we're going to let it dry for about a maybe just a minute this will help laminate them she's looking scary you guys i didn't even do brows on my wedding day um, I'll post a picture. I did my makeup. I, you know, I did my own makeup here. I really liked how I, I thought I looked so pretty. My sister actually talked me out of, I had a makeup artist all lined up and my sister talked me out of it. She goes, be yourself. Don't be over glammy. And she goes, that's what dad told me. So my advice to you, don't clam up. I'm like, okay. <laughs> And honestly, I do not regret doing my own makeup. I think I did a fine job on doing it for the life of me. I cannot recall all the products I wore that day. I got married in 2008. Coming up on 16 years. Oh, not brow doesn't want to So, I am just combing my brow up. And then we're going to just reshape them. Look how wild she is. She is laminated. She's sticking good. So you just kind of play with it for a minute. She is going to look something like this. Y'all, I didn't even know about brows when I was getting married. I was 27. I thought I was big in makeup, but I didn't even do my brows because she was thick like this. All right, y'all. I had to do my brows off camera because I suck at them. And I'm, yeah, we won't even go there. So I kind of filled them in as best as I could. All right, I just had to make sure this didn't look, my other concealer looked too yellow. So I'm using the Revlon Color Stay Skin Awakening. And this is supposed to be 24 24 hours. It's a five in one concealer. So we're gonna put some on and fill my brow here. I'm gonna cover up my high five pigmentation area. Ooh, and I got a zit right here. So we're gonna fill in my brow. This is my favorite, one of my favorite brushes, foundation brushes, it's from NYX. It's so sturdy, I bought two of these. And they work so well and last a really good t long time. So I'm going to steeple. Just kind of press around my brow. Oh, Y'all, this is so good. Revlon Concealer, the 5-in-1, covered up my hyperpigmentation. I 
found it for this video today and I forgot about it. So good. Okay, we're gonna go in with some e.l.f. halo. Every bride wants to be glowy for her wedding day. So we'll go in with this. You guys, I wish we had this when I got married like 16 years ago. This type of stuff wasn't around. And with Morphe, because this doesn't make me look as orange. So you can also choose Elf. That's another good option. Both are inexpensive. This is actually probably less of the two, but I. So I'm just going to put a little bit here. We'll do foundation too. We're going to mix it all together. And then for my foundation, of course, e.l.f. This is $8 and it works so good. This is the new Satin Glow. And this is the number 10 um, Fair Cool. So if you have my skin tone, this will be for you. But she does a good job of coverage. So I am going to go in. Actually... Let's go in with our hand because it's going to massage better in and then we could go in with a beauty blender. If I was getting married again, this is what I would do. Get your neck. But I know like brides like to be nice and glowy. This will make you definitely nice and glowy. So you can layer it. You can layer it. I just like to throw it all in one spot. I am not a professional makeup artist, so get my neck. But look how good this coverage is. Ooh, I will have to go wash my hands. You can also use the Elf Halo with moisturizer, but I already put on my moisturizer. But look how good. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Oh, you can just press in with your beauty blender. Like, look how hydrating and glowy I am. Beautiful for a bride. So right now, I'm just going with my beauty blender and just tapping off any excess product. But this is so beautiful. So for my contouring, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. halo. I'm going to do a little bit at a time because this tends to dry down fast. So part first and then we'll do the rest. To give so when I got married, I didn't even contour my face. But we will on my pretend wedding day. <laughs> But look how that just like melts through. So it, it's best to do this in little sections because the stuff will melt, melt. The stuff dries really fast. And when I contour, I like to go along my cheekbones. And then you can do your jawline. And then we'll just blend. I'm blending up. And then blend down towards your neck. And we'll do the other side. Now your nose is optional to contour. I will contour my nose. She's big. I do have a bigger nose. And here's my jawline. And we'll do the concealer part in a minute. So let's do my nose. Oh, and so you guys know, I am wearing light to medium on the e.l.f. halo hair. Oh, on makeup brushes, before I forget, you could go to Amazon. There's some really inexpensive ones if you don't want to spend a lot. I have a bunch of makeup brushes, so I like the brand. Um, it's called Jessup, and they're really, you can get like a dozen for like $15. So it's just depending how much you're going to spend on makeup products for your wedding. 
So let's go back in, and this is going to be, I'm going to start using this again, the Revlon 5-in-1. So I don't ever hear about this anymore. You guys hear about this brand anymore? Well, the product, I hear about the brand, just not the product. Then go here. Just kind of even up the line. Just going with a brush, kind of staple. You can do this with a beauty, you want a beauty blender, mine are dirty, but yeah. You need to go in with some blush. I think it would be fun to go in with some Elf Camo. They are so pretty. You can do like a coral mix mix with it. So let's, these also dry very fast. So let's just do a little bit here. I am going to just kind of go like this. A whole bunch of different colors. Oh, that is so pretty. I'm going to put on some powder here in a minute. Uh, and if you want a little bit more, you just build it up. Like I said, we'll do powder. I'm doing just a pit. I love pinks, and I would do this on my wedding day. It's where more of a pink color. But the orange the coral color helps settle it out. Some on my cheeks. A little bit on my cheekbone. So, add a little bit more. I'm going to go in with the NYX Buttermilk. I love pink, so we're just going to brighten up a tad bit more. You can get these for $10, I believe. They're so inexpensive, and I love them. Let's say you overdid it on blush like I did, okay? So I have my foundation blush here. And I'm just going to go in and kind of just buffer it out. You don't need to add any product because you already have your foundation on there. And I'm just going to tone it down a little bit. Okay. So, and then another option. You can grab a little concealer, okay? And this, let's put a little bit here and here because I went overboard on my blush. Just kind of tap it in and you can settle it down. And there you go. I'm just putting on a little bit more foundation because I want to tone down the blush again. I feel like I got too carried away. But if you like blush, it's cool. We'll put on some bronzer here in a minute. Here you go. Y'all, I've been obsessed with this. I've been using it a lot this summer. This is an infallible L'Oreal bronzer. This is a fair 200 and it would work so good for a wedding. It has a cute compact mirror. It would work for everyday use. And you could tell she gets a lot of love from me. So I'm just going over. Mm. Lighter here. I mean like a little highlighter. And I'm just going to go in with my fingers. Whoa, that's a lot. I will blend it out. And then a little bit on my nose. All right, time for the eyes. So what you could do is get a bite. These are like three bucks and they're bite eyeshadows. This is uh, truffles and it's really pretty. Has the four different colors you can use. You've got some mattes transition color and then a shimmer if you'd like it's rotter and there's more truffle maybe we'll go with pinks <laughs> so since i got a little blush in the eye area i'm gonna just tap on with my concealer here i'm using the revlon five in one concealer i am forgot how good this stuff is so good we cannot forget scotch tape our best friend now, if you don't have scotch tape, that's okay. 
So one eye I'll do a scotch tape look and the other eye I will do a non-scotch tape look. We're going to use your, if you don't have scotch tape, I'm going to show you how you can do this look. We're going to take it and go about here, kind of line up to where this side is, okay? So I'm going to take my L'Oreal, you could take any bronzer. Today I'm taking the L'Oreal, L'Oreal for infallible concealer, <laughs> concealer. I'm going to take my bronzer. <laughs> yeah, I cannot talk. I'm going to take my infallible bronzer from L'Oreal. I'm gonna and I'm using these Jessup um, makeup brushes. They're so inexpensive and so easy to use. And then where is it? I'm gonna just grab my concealer here and line up this and go like this. This will give us a nice crisp line. And I'm gonna go back and forth on each eye. Gonna look something like this. I have to do shape. My hands are a little bit too shaky for me to do it with the other thing, so. But you get the drift. You can use a concealer if you don't have tape, like an edge of a card or your makeup, okay? But this is what I gotta do. So I'm gonna go in with this um, Water Rose, this is the Elf Bite. These are like under five bucks, y'all. And I'm gonna use the Jessup brushes today. And this is a smoky um, eye shader. So I'm gonna go in with this dark color first. We're gonna go on the edge. I look feel. I'm just starting on the outer here with my finger. Look how pretty this is. And you can tap it all over your lid. So easy. And if you don't have browser, they have transition shades that you can use. Well, that's such a pretty, simple wedding look. So pretty. Pet petite crease. And then I'm just going to just kind of blend. We'll go back in with the darker shade here. You could kind of go in with them. So my hooded eyes are right here. This is, I might go a little bit above it. Cause people won't be able to see the color much. It's just something simple and pretty like that. Right here, and it's going with a darker color. I'm gonna go in with this color here to give me an eyeliner. Cause I don't want to use solid black on the bottom. I think this is pretty. Then we'll do a little eyeliner. This is so good. It's from um, NYX. It's the uh, matte. 
the NYX Vivid Matte Eyeliner. I'm not going to worry about it. And they'll fix that. So get yourself a Q-tip if you have any smudges. And then we'll take a little concealer and it'll be good. But it's a pretty look. And I'm just cleaning it one, one more time. Uh, I do one more blend around the eye. Oh, it's such a pretty me. And if you want something for the brow, you can just grab like high, like this color. And put it on brow. If you want, you don't have to. But I'm doing it. And I'll do lashes here in a minute. Don't worry. I'm going to do the whole thing. I'm going to go in with these two. This is uh, Elf XL Extend. And this is the new Queen from Essence. Call me Queen. It's like under three bucks. These will be so good together. Let me curl my lashes. You can get this lash curler off of Amazon. It's under ten bucks. I like using it. Even though my lashes are extremely flat. I still try to curl it best as I can. Now, wearing lash, um, lashes is optional. You don't have to. I did it at my wedding. Uh, she might be a little dry. It's kind of wiggle. I have pretty long lashes as is. So I don't really need to put on extensions. So like I said, it is totally optional to wear them. We cannot forget the bottoms. Try not to get on your hard work with the eyeliner. Just putting it on. And now, if you want waterproof lashes because you're going to cry when you get married, I would recommend getting a waterproof lash, you know, mascara because I bawled like a baby when I got married. So, um, definitely grab you waterproof mascara if you like. I am going to go in with the Essence Call Me Queen. This is actually really good. My other mascara is kind of dry. But this is like $3.99 and if you don't want to spend a lot of money, I would recommend this. We are almost done you guys. I hope this is helping you guys with wedding ideas. I didn't even wear this much makeup when I got married back in 2008. Like, this is, like, over the top. You don't even need all this. But if you want something glammy, I would definitely run, do something like this. Time for the wedding lip combo. I tried to go back to look at some of my pictures from when I got married. And you can't even see it because it's back in 2008. The image quality wasn't the greatest. And I wore kind of, like, a nudish, you know lipstick anyway now i'm gonna set my primer real quick get you get yourself get yourself some elf setting primer this will hold your makeup all day and 
Mm -hmm. And looking back at it, uh, my muddy picture, I had brown eyeshadow. Like, I did eyeliner. I didn't do any of this extra stuff. So, you guys, I was very basic when I got married. So, if I was getting married again, of course I would conceal my lips with concealer. Why not? It's like, uh, this is like a, a base. People are like, why do you do this? It's like a base for my foundation or for my lipstick. It will make it pop out more. And grab a beauty blender. Something like this. And I'm using the 5-in-1 Casilla. Okay, I was looking at what I like lip liners I had as an option at a drugstore. So today we're using the Elf uh, Love Triangle Lip. I couldn't find a nude one. I'd have red, so I'm gonna use it. Mm -hmm. It's too bright. No. So what I do in these situations, I take an eyeliner. So if that's all you got for your lippy, you're going to use it as your lip liner for your wedding day, okay? Maybe. So we're going to go in with my, this is my eyebrow liner actually, not eyeliner. But if you have eyeliner, you can use it for your lippy too. And it's not as pigmented as I want it. It will work. So this is from e.l.f. This is the color Shame List. This is the satin glow. It's so pretty. She's a little well used, but it's kind of pinky at noon. If you, whatever. Okay. This is pretty close to my lip combo on my wedding day, from what I can tell in my pictures. Because the quality is not what it is now. So, I'm going to take the Meredith Duxbury. This is a nude lip gloss. Lip gloss is optional. And there you go. This is what I would do if I was getting married with drugstore makeup. So I hope that helps you guys. And good luck on your upcoming weddings. And do you guys want me to do high end makeup look? But I like it. It's cute. It's pretty. Something's not going to break your bank. So let's go get married. I'm going to go change. Come back. Alright, so I redid my lippy. I actually just replaced the lip liner because I wasn't fond of it. But I don't have a drugstore product. I'm sorry. I used Riri the pink liner for my bridal makeup. So anyway, you guys, I hope this helps some of you. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Love ya. Goodbye.